Okay. So I am sitting here in my living room and I have a new removal device to talk to you about. It is the Tetcon is the company and it is the removal body pod. It looks like a removal burrito to me. Like you wrap the person all up in this secure little burrito of a thing to carry them out of the house. But I want to tell you about this. Here's the company and here is the device. So I got it and unpacked it. It's not been used or deceased. So that's the reason it's splayed out in my living room for me to check it out to really see what the capabilities are of this device and why more people are choosing to use this kind of a removal device as opposed to a cot in a lot more scenarios. There's an old school way of thinking that you shouldn't put the body on something that you're sledding on the ground or dragging or pulling them on the ground. It's maybe not respectful or it doesn't look good. However, clunking down each step on a cot may also not look good to the family. That's very jarring each of those clunks or if you're in a tight space banging against a wall accidentally in a home or coming downstairs or those times when you can't even fit the cot in the bedroom and you're carrying somebody in a sheet but with this type of a device that has a padding in it and it has straps and it's very secure it has this durable material in the foot and the head ends to secure from the weight pressing on it. Like they've thought of a lot of the situations and scenarios that we encounter when we go bring deceased into our care. So we're going to check this out and see kind of how it works. So the first thing I did was unbox this when it got to my house. Kind of like you can go on Amazon and order mattresses now and you open them up and they like all of us, they're way bigger than you anticipate that they're gonna be, but this thing was so light, just like any, any kind of a mattress would be. And it has this foam mattress that comes in it. And so this we have to put inside a sleeve and it's gonna make up the base. So you don't have to worry about the mattress part getting dirty or soiled when you're removing the person from a residence in case they purge or something because this mattress is in an enclosed case so it's not going to soak up any bodily fluids that may leak out. So this is that fabric I was talking about, the Dyneema. It is one of the strongest fabrics that are made ever and it is at the foot end of the removal device, so it goes over the feet. body pod kind of in action, but didn't want to have to have any of the removal team, you know, work on their downtime. So I wrote my family, <laughs> God bless my family, into helping me do kind of a mock removal with the body pod. And my parents' house is actually perfect because if one of them were to die in their bedroom, it is very tight quarters, tight turns that you couldn't get a stretcher, a cot um, in very easily actually around the corners without standing it on end, which is sometimes a jarring sight for families when you have to stand the cot up, um, you know, head to toe upright. So here we go. So as you can see, the turn at the bottom of the stairs is pretty tight. The turn at the top and into the bedroom is very tight. Could possibly maneuver 
the stretcher going into another bedroom and then into the room that the deceased would be in, aka my mom and dad's room. Um, but going to look at this other option for doing a removal with this other device. So we're dressed a little more casually than we would be if we were on an actual removal. We're not going to use gloves and PPE like we usually would. So look past those things. Oh, my mom is playing dead for us for the video and we have the body pod on the bed so we've debated whether to put the body pod on the floor and move her to the floor if the bed is big enough though we might as well use the height of the bed rather than bending and lifting the beauty of this is that it's supposed to help save your back so why not work with that as well so we could move her and just slide her into the body pod and secure her up on the bed. So that's what we theoretically are going to do. Yeah, so theoretically, I mean, this will catch a little bit because there is some Velcro. But if I, if she was on a draw sheet, we could wrap her in a sheet to move her over on. If we had a sheet, we could bring a sheet, wrap her. But I guess worst case scenario is there's nothing under her, so we can go with that and then move that in under her. So, okay. This is why I don't wear skirts on removals as well. So then, yeah, so we do the inside first. The foot end is always the one with this durable material on it, guys. If you get claustrophobic, just holler at me. Happy Mother's Day. There's different levels, oh, it looks heavy. like. So if you need to be tight and we could lift her all the way from this one, go to the first one all the way and lift and see how it bends quite a bit. But we want to kind of drag slider, not drag, I don't want to use that word. So there's, yeah, bringing a cot around this would be hard. Well, but I want to go foot first.
Are you planning on sliding or? Sliding. Okay. Controlled slide. Yep. Are you okay? Does it hurt? Or are you going to throw up? I'm good. we could have the cot right here we would move her on too okay mom so going down the stairs was it bumpy or did you feel smooth it was smooth going down the stairs so there was no bumps did you feel like you were sliding in it towards the foot end or were you pretty secure i was secure but there was some sliding down to the foot that i felt the person at the bottom carrying me it was like my feet went into that person into me. Yeah, my daughter, yes. Thank you. So the full review then of using this actually with my mom playing the deceased, the person at the head of the deceased as you're coming downstairs really has control over that weight. So that was a good thing to kind of learn and understand. Coming down as I was the bottom person, having the feet against my leg and my legs felt like it controlled rather than just using the straps. I felt a little more secure with my legs up against the base of the feet coming down. But she slid very smoothly down the stairs. It felt more controlled and not as clunky as maybe a cot would coming down where you go step by step by step. So I did like that part of it. I would recommend when you get one of these at your funeral home to truly put somebody in it at your one of your staff members and feel how the body feels inside of it as you're moving through the funeral home and just play around with it. Honestly, good practice, good way to tell how the gravity affects the body motion inside the body pod. But this is definitely a good tool resource to have on hand for those tricky removals and tight spots. Hey guys, so the body pod transfer mat, wanted to just make sure we point out a few key items about it. Besides just a few straps, there are multiple straps that you can use around the hole. So many people can hold on to it and help transfer the individual as they're moved throughout the space, either through the house, through, you know, if you're out in the woods, heck, who knows where you could use this. It's any transfer that you need to do, you can use the body pod transfer mat for. Now, a big misconception is you should never drag somebody, so you wanna lift them. But if you can drag them more smoothly along the ground, then clunk around with that cot, you're going to want to do that. If you can have the individual moved while not hurting your back, not straining yourself, and thinking smarter about your own body usage, that is always a positive for us in the business. Because we deal with individuals every shape, every size, as a business and a company for a funeral home, the more you can protect your employees' physical selves, the better. You know, we've got disability and all sorts of insurances and things we have to pay for, and society is getting larger as a whole. And so we have to think smarter about the choices we're making when it comes to how we are moving individuals around. Now, this is geared up to 400 pounds, is what it says it can um, handle in terms of the weight of the individual that's inside of this transfer mat. It is also reinforced with a material called Dyneema. 
and that is one of the strongest materials on the planet. The full underside is reinforced with it, along with the whole foot end. So as you go feet first down an incline and the weight is coming against it, that is going to give you a much more solid area that the body is sliding down and into. So I've seen a lot of companies starting to use this device more and more. So getting to be hands-on with it has been a real treat for me to get to see how it works to be able to, when someone is saying, I've got, I've had this situation, like what do have you seen? What do you use? What's out there on the market? Definitely another item that I can say I've used, I think would be a good fit for a lot of people and they should give a try. Um, having used it at my parents' house in the video you saw, I would say that it was very easy to use. Um, the Velcro, it, a few things like the Velcro is gonna attach to different fabrics. So having clean fabrics that it's not gonna pull little fuzzies from all the time, one big thing. Um, as my mom said, who was inside of it, it was a very smooth transition. And I think that is another big factor. The fact you can leave the person's face uncovered, which is sometimes requested by families, I think is also a factor. So because Techcon, the company, makes emergency type devices, transferred mats for emergency personnel, where the face is not gonna be covered, that translates over for the funeral business very nicely with this. So give it a try if you're looking for something new. Techcon is the company and it's the Body Pod Transfer Map. So I'm here at Warsham College today and I am donating the Body Pod Transfer Mat to the college so that students for the next however many years can try this device out and can practice with it when they are learning how to do transfers and removals from all different scenarios. So it's a benefit for students to get to see different devices and instruments and things that are available on the market for us to care for the deceased and the families. And this is just one of those items that some of these students will now have an opportunity to be hands-on with. So thank you to TechCon for your donation to Warsham College of Mortuary Science.